In my world, there's only one performer whose name I know, Zuspgas Vice Patterns. He's been coming to dance at my fortresses ever since I started building them, and through sheer omnipresence, I've come to think of his arrival as a rite of passage for all of my more visitor-friendly fortresses. So as you can imagine, I was pretty happy to see him visit my new musical fortress. I figured that the greatest performer in my world would have a thing or two he could teach my dwarves, even if dance and music don't exactly require the same skills. But the moment Zuspgas saw what he was working with down in my tavern, he turned around and immediately made a beeline for the exit. Whether it was my attempted industrialization of an artistic process, or just plain how bad my musicians were, something had set him off bad enough that he not only felt the need to move on to a new town, but to retire from his life's mission, give up dancing, and settle down. Something he had never done in his 120 year long career. So in this video, I'll be putting some more work into the musical side of my musical fortress, by building a temple to the wrong god, constructing elaborate musical trials, and threatening my dwarves. Hopefully Zuspgas will be the last legend to retire after seeing my dwarves perform. And so, to start off my dwarves musical rehabilitation, I cleared out some space on the tavern dance floor, and began digging a temple just a short walk away. If I had chosen the absolute shields as my base civilization, rather than the invisible inks, then I could have devoted that temple to the goddess Tobol, who governs writing, poetry, and song, a perfect morally neutral fit for what I was going for. But unfortunately, as a member of the invisible inks, we were instead stuck with Tumum Playbridges, god of happiness and revelry, as our most musically focused god, and he was only indirectly related. Tumam's focus on happiness also made the plan that I was putting into action a bit more awkward. If my dwarves were motivated to perform by happiness, then they would already be performing, because I had done a good job boosting the mood of the fortress. But they weren't, and I only really have one tool in my motivational toolbox, and so I wanted to build three sacrifice slash challenge rooms around the edge of the temple. That way I could grab a couple performers after each season that went by without my musicians practicing, and sacrifice them to Tumam by subjecting them to a musical trial. And while Tumam didn't really seem like the type of god that would be on board for all that, he was all I had, and my desire to strike fear into the house of my dwarves would just have to override his domain. So I pressed on and built my three musical trials. Going clockwise around the temple, starting at 9 o'clock, we have the Athnir Drop Room, where my musicians will have to use their heads to avoid falling prey to one of the oldest gags in the book, and one of the heaviest instruments we have, the Dubman Fighting Pit where instrumental knowledge could mean the difference between smashing a dubman over the head of a goblin thief like a rockstar, and being unceremoniously shot to death by a goblin crossbowman. And the elven instrument escape room, where one performance with a completely foreign instrument means you get to live, and one season spent figuring out what the hell a Fasifo is means you're doomed to starve. With the temple up and running, and all three musical trials ready to go, it was time to start watching my tavern and hoping that my performers would actually perform, while also hoping that they wouldn't. But I wound up being happy with slash let down by my dwarves after the first season I observed. While they didn't spend a long time practicing, they did perform music three times in the four months I watched, which meant I couldn't really subject any performers to the musical trials I had built. At least, not without feeling guilty about it. So I grabbed some birds from my long list of performers and put them in a squad together so I could tell them where to go. Their first stop was the Athnir Drop Room, where I don't think any of them bothered to look up, because the falling Athnir caused quite a bit of chaos when it landed on them. Lorbam Paddle Keys in particular bore the brunt of the Athnir, and had her upper body split in gore when it hit her, which seems less than ideal. The remaining four birds were then moved over to the Dubman Fighting Pit, though they wound up not really using the Dubmans, as they, and the random civilian tasked with pulling the lever, punched all five goblins to death. I had originally intended for this trial to be faced by three performers, rather than four and a civilian, so I guess I can't be too surprised that they survived. Though for all but one of them, survival was only accomplished by the barest of margins, and they were all rushed off to the hospital to have their standing and grasping abilities returned to them. As the only one who had thrived in the Dubman fighting pit, that left Mafal to face the elven instrument puzzle on his own. I made sure to mark out the puzzle room as a tavern, and to assign Mafol as the performer of that tavern, so that he had a fighting chance, but apparently elven instruments are just a little bit too out of the wheelhouse of amateur dwarven performers. It took him a couple months of flailing around the 3x3 room to finally succumb to either dehydration or starvation, and at no point did it really seem like a performance was on the cards. 
Overall, I would say the Elven Instrument Puzzle Room was the cruelest of the lot, because I think it might actually be impossible. But all three musical trials successfully struck fear into the hearts of my performers, and lowered the mood around the fortress, probably creating the perfect conditions for my dwarves to actually practice and perform music. What more could I ask for? And while I'm sure Two Man Playbridges is having mixed feelings about my temple, I think it's probably just what this fortress needed to get my dwarves ready to perform in the musical fortress finale. So thanks for watching, an extra thank you to those of you who support me on Patreon, and I'll see you next time.